Can I come in? Whoa. You look... wonderful. I mean it. With all your creative talents, I don't believe even you could come up with the right words to describe how magnificent you look tonight. I see. It fits you so well. Did you choose this outfit? It figures that jerk picked it out. I'm surprised you were even allowed to invite me. No, I don't believe that they'd let you choose anything. You're telling me that they didn't make their opinions known about everything from the flowers to the music? Well, of course they'd make it seem like you have control. Can't let the hundreds of guests think that this is anything less than true love. I suppose it'd be bad for business if they knew what it really was. I think I figured out what their game is here. That vile cockroach needs to make this seem like the wedding of anyone's dreams. This whole thing gets other eligible persons off their back and changes the headlines from their shitty business practices to their magical wedding. Then, with you as their partner, people will assume that they're just as good as you are, so they don't have to do any of the work to actually improve how they do business, and while all that's going on, you're suffering behind the scenes, unable to do anything. But that's the thing. There is a way out of this. You just need to do something that, for you, is one of the most difficult things of all. You need to think about yourself. Think about it. We could leave. Right now. We could escape to another country. I know it's a wild idea, but there is something I've kept from you. I might not be as rich as your fiancé, but I do have my own resources. Enough capital to start a brand new life for us, away from the world of business. I know it's been crushing your soul to be a part of this life, how much you've sacrificed. You could go back to creating again, without the responsibilities. I know you're afraid of what could happen to your employees. I admire that you're not ready to give up on what you built, but there has to be a point where you get out of this. That's a positive thought, but there is no way they would ever let you use their money to fund anything as noble as that. Think about how their money was most likely gained, after all. I have to wonder. No, you couldn't. I just have to wonder what they've said to you. If you've been... influenced by them. I'm not saying you've bought into their way of life. It's just that maybe you're in too deep. It's like a cult. Even intelligent people like you can be caught up in things like that when they feel they have no other place to turn. But you have another option. Me. How long until that piece of shit gets sick of this game and runs your business into the ground? Will all our suffering be for nothing? Please. I have a car waiting outside. The driver is instructed to keep going no matter what happens. Be selfish for once in your life! I don't care if I'd be in danger. Your heart's too big for its own good. Just... Never forget that this all started because of blackmail, okay? I don't care how long it takes. I'll wait for you. I won't abandon you to this beast. You... <clears throat> You have a certain glow about you tonight, my doll. The perfect accessory for the perfect evening. Ah, oh, and our little friend here did a wonderful job bringing us the rings. But it is certainly past your bedtime. Off with you. <laughs> what a charmer. Well, I think it's about time we make our reintroduction into the crowd as an official couple with our first dance.
You seem a little tense. Is there something not to your liking? I was assured that every detail would be to your exact specifications. We can certainly have something changed right away. Oh, you're worried about the crown? Don't be. The videographers and photographers have been instructed to only take the most flattering footage and pictures, and the reporters know to only write the most complimentary things about us. All our other guests, besides the one you personally invited, know to keep their mouths shut. I do think your family and friends look lovely in the clothing that I sent them. They fit right in. You see, there was nothing to worry about. Everything has been taken care of. I take great pride in fulfilling my doll's every wish. Is that not what a good toy maker does, after all? I mean, they bring their creations to life. They don't let them sit half-finished in the darkness. They adorn them beautifully and make sure to protect their fragile little souls. <laughs> I have to disagree. You certainly do need protecting. Your heart is as delicate and as breakable as fine china, whereas mine is as hardened as diamond. Yes, I suppose even diamonds can be chipped. Is that what you want to do, doll? Chip away at my heart until you create the shape you desire? I would encourage you to try. You're not going to bother? Well, that's no fun. At least I still have my game of showering you with everything you've never had while you attempt to keep your precious morals. You'll see things my way sooner or later. For now, doll, let's dance. <laughs>